My name is Jeroen Bax from the Leiden University Medical Center, the Netherlands. Uh, directly here from the World Cardiology Congress in Beijing in China, 2010, which appears to be quite a big success. Um, I was in the position of chairing a session this morning uh, dedicated to the risks of imaging in clinical cardiology. At the moment there is a big discussion, heavily debated issue in clinical cardiology, how and when and how much of cardiac imaging should be used in the management of our patients with cardiovascular disease. So this session consisted of talks uh, focusing on echocardiography, specifically with the use of contrast. There was a uh, extensive uh, presentation by Fausto Pinto, the current chair of the CPC of ESC 2010, um, on the use of echo contrast and he came to the conclusion that the use of contrast, intravenous contrast in echocardiography for both myocardial perfusion and LV border opacification was extremely safe. So this can be applied in any of the settings and as much as we want to use it as clinical cardiologists. There was also extensive uh, attention to the use of radiation uh, in imaging and specifically the use of nuclear cardiology and cardiac CT. It was warned for that we should not overuse these techniques, that we should not repeat them too often. There was also substantial interest in the use of nuclear cardiology and cardiac CT. Uh, in clinical cardiology and the management of our patients. Specifically the use of these two modalities is associated with radiation and radiation can be associated with the risk of cancer. It was made clear by the speakers that we should not overuse these techniques. We should not be routinely applying these techniques sequentially in our patients with intervals of two to three years. However, on the other hand, we need the techniques to detect ischemia, cardiac anatomy, non-invasive coronary angiography, and therefore we need them in the daily management of the patients. The conclusion of Dr. Einstein, who presented on the topic of nuclear cardiology and cardiac CT, was that if we use them carefully, they are of substantial benefit in the management for our patients. And the novel developments in technology actually have substantially reduced the radiation burden and therefore the risk of cancer is minimal. However, we should constantly balance between using them appropriately and not overusing them and going towards higher risk. This was a quite interesting session on a heavily discussed topic and it brought new insights in the use of these techniques. Thank you very much.